What's up, boxing fans? And I'm here to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is a, a pretty big fight between Yuri Oki and Boa. Uh, you know, Nelson Clone from uh, Guantanamo. And then, uh, you know, from Cuba. And then you have Mr. Uh, Miguel Beltran Jr., who's a pretty good boxer from Mexico. He uh, also fought Mikey Garcia before. He was a really, really good fight. You know, he comes to fight, he, you know, he's not scary or nothing, so it'll be a lot of action in the ring, you know, a lot of action in the ring. Uh, you know, he, I mean, I've been waiting, you know, so long for Gamboa's return, you know. Estoy tan listo, pero esta pelea, I mean, this, this guy is, is something, something special. I mean, his skills in the ring, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to say except is very very good. Uh, I mean he does everything pretty well. Only thing that's shaky is his defense. Um, sometimes he throws punches in weird angles but he's kind of off balance sometimes. Uh, but he has a really good jab when he uses it. He can box very very well and barely uh, be hit when he does box if he needs to. Uh, like I say he's a 2004 Athens uh, Olympic gold medalist. So that, that tells you a lot right there. Um, young boy is just very, very good. I mean, very sound. Power is muy fuerte. I mean, it's crazy. Very, very strong power. Uh, when he throws, he throws to knock you out. You know, it's, it's speed and power combined. Uh, I mean, for a couple of examples, uh, you know, he beat Ponce de Leon uh, pretty, I ain't gonna say super easy, but it was, it was pretty easy. Uh, knocked out Jorge Solis in four rounds. He knocked him down so many times. Um, his left hook and his straight right hand is, is dangerous. Even his right uppercut at times can be very dangerous as well. Um, Orlando Salido, he beat him for 12 rounds. Unanimous decision. Just, just too easy. Even though Salido came to fight, Gamboa's skill and determination was just too good. Um, uh, the one that Mikey Garcia is facing, uh, I believe next week, next weekend, he's facing uh, Jonathan Victor Barrios, and that's who uh, Yuri Ocampo will beat in a unanimous decision. And he beat Rodriguez and Tago, uh, very, very easy, and KO'd him in two rounds. Just too many punches, too much skill, you know, just too much power. Um, I really see Yuri Ocampo doing his thing in the ring, using his jab. In the beginning rounds against uh, Beltran, and I see I see Beltran coming forward, doing a good you know doing a good thing, coming forward with his jab, uh, staying on Gamboa, trying to put on the pressure because I know that's going to be their the you know attack is to put pressure on Gamboa, see if they can um, break him down in the later rounds. Um, I I see in Miguel Beltran's game that he leaves himself open after he punches a lot and. You know, Gambo is such a good counter punch. I'm not trying to be biased, but I really like the guy. He's, he's one of my favorite uh, boxers right now. So, I I don't know. I, I see on that Pacquiao versus Marquez for undercard that Gambo is going to try to get him out of there early. This is his, not comeback, but I don't call it a comeback, but this is his, uh, I'll say, um, you know, just a tune up. Well, well, which I will say, a tune up fight. Uh, the guy from uh, Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico, he's going to get hit with something just dangerous. And I believe it's going to be a left hook, or it can be a straight right hand down the pipe, or it can be a barrage of a four-punch combination. One of those three things will happen to him, and he will go down. Um, he will get back up because he has, you know, Guerrero, Mexican warrior spirit. He, he doesn't give up. Um, the guy, you know... He, he has skill, you know, like I said, he fought uh, Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia, is, uh, I believe that's his brother, fought him, and that was a really, really good fight, you know, um, he's 24, and only one loss, that was his only loss, too, was 17 knockouts, and uh, the guy, I see, he has a good body attack, he's going to try to work the body against Gamboa, throw a lot of body punches, come back up top, throw his overhand right, um, if he can hurt Gamboa, it would be with that overhand right, after Gamboa sometimes may pull his jab not back up to his head and he leaves his jab pretty low. He has, he has his hands low from being, you know, very cocky, very confident all at one time. 
But in the boxing ring, all it takes is one punch, and the overhand right would be the right, correct punch to get on board with if you're going to hurt him. So he has a chance. He has a chance. He has some decent power having 17 knockouts out of 25 fights. Pretty good. So, um, yeah, so Gamboa is not facing a run over, a little piss on or whatever, but I still feel his skills in the ring, his lateral movement, his footwork, and his side to side, you know, constant side to side movement is going to really give Beltran problems. And Gamboa just being a smarter fighter is going to win this fight and um, move on to bigger and better things. And uh, I believe it's going to be in the featherweight division. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it, 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 it might be, he may face him in, a, I don't know, probably a 130. I've been hearing rumors of that 130 he'll fight him. Um, so we will see. And uh, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you my analysis, you know, what I think. Because I try to be spot on. Gamble is going to break him down in the beginning rounds. If not, stop him early, like first, second, or third. Uh, if Beltran uh, survives or lasts. Young boy would just box him for a couple rounds, and I see him getting him out of there with some type of left hook or straight right hand, or like I said, that four punch combination that uh, Young boy likes to throw with different angles, the left hooks, the left uppercuts, right uppercuts, straight right hand, stuff like that. Uh, I see him getting him out of there mm, round six, round seven, TKO, stop his referee coming in, uh, uh, no more, no mas, and stopping the fight. If it is by KO. It'll probably be by Gamboa's uh, counter left hook or his um, his counter straight right hand over the top of uh, Beltran's jab. So uh, you guys tell me what you think. Like I said, round six, round seven, knockout. Um, who should Gamboa face next? Who is going to be on his radar? You know, yeah. And, the, and what do you think about the whole 50 Cent Mayweather? Bill and 50 Cent supposedly saying that Gamboa doesn't like Mayweather anymore, even though Gamboa said that Mayweather is one of his inspirations of boxing, that like he likes Mayweather. Like, I don't know, it's just crazy. Uh, what do you think about the whole Twitter war, Instagram war, you know, 50 Cent saying that you're a punk and I got Gamboa that's going to go up to 147, which Gamboa walks around at 143 pounds, just walking around weight. So I don't think that Gamboa would be able to make 147. That's just me. That's my opinion. Uh, yeah, who do you think he should face next? I think he should go up to 135. If Broner does beat DeMarco, go up to 135 and face Broner. Because Broner is, has been saying he wants Gamboa. He's been calling him out, blah, blah. Uh, I see DeMarco winning that fight, but you can check on my other analysis to see that, that video. But um, anyway, let me know what you think in that conversation below, and um, I will get back to you with more boxing analysis. Peace.